Did you know? Kites are some of the best toys in the entire world. There's little more satisfying than on just the right day flying a kite in the afternoon sun. I love it. Kites were invented in ancient China. There are a few different potential inventors out there, but the accolade quite possibly belongs to 5th century BC philosopher Mo Zhu. If you think about it, China is the perfect place to invent a kite. They have bamboo, which is flexible, light and strong. They also invented silk, a lightweight material which is perfect for making kites. We also know that the ancient Chinese made kites out of paper. Indeed, in the year AD 549, a paper kite was used to transmit a message during a rescue mission. In the year 169 BC, General Han Xin used a kite, or several kites, to measure the distance between his camp and the walls of an enemy city. This meant that his soldiers knew how far they had to dig to undermine the enemy walls. Indeed, kites were used for testing wind speed and direction, lifting objects, and in addition to sending messages, they could be used to terrify the enemy during battle. Intimidating designs, for example, seen long before your army crests the ridge, could be the beginning of psychological warfare, before a single blow is struck. Indeed, kites could even have whistles attached to them. As they fluttered in the breeze, the wind would rush through, causing howling and screeching noises high above. I don't know about you, but I find this fascinating. Kites are usually seen as a children's toy, but in the past they were more akin to high-end military technology. In some ways a little bit like drones today. Certainly not toys. Oh, I see. In fact, the more you begin to think about it, it's quite unnerving. So many toys today have at some point been used for military purposes. I mean, even puppies. The cutest of puppies can be a dog of war. Anyway, as soon as the weather improves, I don't know about you, but I'm off to fly a kite. In particular, I like this kite. It looks like crayons are drawing in the sky.